Gobble, 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 gobble. All right. Welcome. Now, I hope you're enjoying your little break. Happy Turkey Day. For those of you who are watching the video beforehand, be sure to enjoy your family and some food. For those of you who are watching after, I hope you enjoyed your holiday. For those of us who don't partake in the festivities, hope you enjoyed your little break. Now, back to business. Solving systems of conics by graphing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take two equations. All right, we're going to graph them, whether they be a parabola, an ellipse, and a hyperbola. And we're going to calculate all the intersection points. So just for instance, if we had an ellipse and a parabola, we could have two intersection points. All right, something of that nature. Now, when graphing, we're, we're going to use our calculator a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to take care of this because it's just it's a lot easier than having to put everything in graphing form. Now, there's two things that get in the way of using our calculator. One is it's kind of tricky jumping from curve to curve to curve to curve. So we're going to practice one example together here. Then at the end, I'm going to leave you with a little homework assignment after the video. And then in class on Monday, we're really going to get after this calculator thing and make sure we're comfortable with it. Now, the second part is to put something in the calculator, we all know if we go to our infamous y equals menu, we need to be equal to y. All right, so the first thing we have to do is set this equal to y. So before we get started here, again, make sure you have a copy of your note sheet that you had on Wednesday and you have your calculator. Without those two things, it's going to be difficult to follow along in the video. So let's get started. Now we're going to move my x squared term and my 16x. So I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides and I'm going to add 16x from both sides. So I get y squared equals negative x squared because I subtracted x squared plus 16x minus 39. Alright, now we still need to get y alone so I'm going to square root both sides. Now when you do so we have y equals plus or minus the square root of negative x squared plus 16x minus 39. That's all under the radical. Alright, so it looks a little iffy and difficult, but it's really not. Alright, now let's take a look at this equation. So, I have 5x squared plus 9y squared equals 161. So, I'm going to move my 5x squared. So 9y squared equals negative 5x squared plus 161. I'm going to divide everything by 9. So y squared equals negative 5x squared plus 161 over 9. And then square root both sides. And I get y equals plus or minus whenever you square root both sides. Square root of negative 5x squared plus 161 over 9. Now, there's no need to simplify any of this noise. All right, it's all there. Leave it as is. Get y by itself and let the calculator do thinking for you. At this point, the calculator can, we can type that in and it can do everything for us. Now, there is one catch. The calculator doesn't do plus or minus. So you really have to type this equation in twice. So let's go to our calculator. And I always like to do the calculator before I draw the sketch of my graph because we have to find the important points first. So go to your y equals menu and in y1 we're going to type in our first equation. So second square root of negative x squared plus 16x minus 39. Now it, in the old operating system you need to close the parentheses. In the new one, if your line pops up and you have a larger space, just go ahead and go on to the next one. It's done. Now we got to stay with this equation because now we got to do negative second square root of negative x squared plus 16x minus 39. So we had to put in the opposite of because y1 is the positive, y2 is the negative. All right, so that's our first equation. Now let's go to our second equation. We have second square root. Now, you need to put the numerator in a separate set of parentheses. All right, so parentheses, negative 5x squared plus 161, close parentheses, divided by 9, and then close your whole square root. 
Again, with the new operating system, you would just have to put the numerator in parentheses and the rest is fine. All right, so now we do the opposite. So negative and then do all that noise again. So parentheses negative 5x squared plus 161. Close parentheses divided by 9. Close. Whew. So now we got all that noise in there. Hit graph. Now, if you have an error coming up, if you don't see this, all right, one thing that you may have to do is, or if it's really small, make sure everybody goes zoom six. All right, so if you got an error and it said go to or whatever, another thing, make sure nothing is in the y equals portion. So if you go to your y equals menu, I don't know why this happens, but for some reason a lot of you have stuff typed in down below. Make sure Y567, all that stuff is clear and there's nothing in there. All right, now, if we're at this point and you have your graph, you're good. Let's take a look at this. Now, our solutions are where the two graphs intersect. So it's here and here. Now, I'm not going to make you put it in graphing form to find all the necessary centers and make a pretty picture. I'm more concerned about the points of interest and then drawing an accurate sketch. Okay, that's it's a sketch. All right. So we go second trace to calculate, and we want to go to intersect number five. Now, before we get started, find Spidey. I hit some arrows until he pops up. I'm not seeing him. All right, so I'm not seeing him. I'm going to start hitting up and down a little. All right, there he is. Now, watch. Hitting right and left moves him along that curve. But we need to find this bottom intersection and this top. So if you hit up or down, he, what he does is he jumps curves. Now, really, we have about four different curves here. Oh, where'd you go? All right. We have this curve, this curve, this curve, and this curve. So let's do that one. So let's get close to that intersection point. Hit enter. Now, we're going to hit up and down. Okay, that's not the curve we want because we already got that curve. So we want to jump to another curve. So down... Not that one. Now there we are. Now we're on this curve, you see? So we want that. Now, that's why this can be a little tricky with the calculator, because you got to hit up and down and jump curves till you find the one you want. So then I hit enter there, enter again, and I get my intersection point, which is 4, negative 3. So my first important point is 4, comma, negative 3. All right, go back to your calculator. Now let's find the second one. So second, calculate intersect and now we want to be up above so Spidey's up there we're on this top right curve here hit enter all right now we jump to the bottom we don't want that one so I'm gonna hit up up still not on the one I want up there we go so now we're on that one get close enter no need to guess enter again and it gives me my other one of four comma three so those are my two intersection points. So let's plot them. 4, negative 3, and 4, 3. Now, notice these gaps here. Those are the vertices of your graph. Now, for some reason, they don't show up. So when we intersect there, it can create some issues. But we'll tackle that tomorrow in class. So looking at this, just count to estimate. We're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a half there. So we got a point somewhere out here. We set at three and like five and a half. All right, and then draw a quick sketch of our picture there. So we got something that looks like this, and then something that looks like this. Again, with our necessary points labeled accurately. All right, and those are my two main pieces. All right, so that's all it entails. I know it seems like it took a while. All right, sorry, we had a little hiccup there. But so these are my two points. All right, and that's that's what I got, and that's it. Once you have your important points labeled, you're done. All right, let's try another one. Now uh, I'm looking down here. Let's just get them. Let's get y solved for so then we can try it on our own. So we have three x squared minus four y squared equals eleven. Move your three x by subtracting three x squared. So negative 4y squared equals negative 3x squared plus 11. 
divide everything by negative 4. So y squared equals negative 3x squared plus 11 all over negative 4. Again, no need to simplify because you're just going to put in your calculator. So square root. So y equals plus or minus the square root negative 3x squared plus 11 all over 4. Alright. Now, let's go over here. Get your negative 3x squared over. Get your 12x over. And your 79 is already there. Divide everything by 4. So y squared equals negative 3x squared minus 12x plus 79 all over 4 square root. So y equals plus or minus square root of negative 3x squared minus 12x plus 79 all over 4. Now, these are my two equations. Your homework for the rest of the weekend is put this in your calculator, graph, and see if you can come up with kind of an accurate picture. See if you can come up with the solutions. Here's a hint. Your graph is going to look something like this. It's going to be an ellipse with a hyperbola going through it. So you should have about four intersection points. So when you type it in your graph, it should somewhat resemble that quick, ugly, sloppy sketch. But I wanted you to get a picture and vision of what it kind of looks like. So you can now give it a try, jump in curves, try to come up with some intersection points, and we'll fix all your issues tomorrow or Monday in class, sorry, and we'll get this calculator work in. All right? Enjoy the rest of your break. See ya.